The biggest, baddest ute on the planet has landed in Australia. This is the Ram 1500 TRX. It makes a huge statement on paper and it already looms as an overnight classic. The kind that collectors will squirrel away in sheds or even aeroplane hangars around the country. Let's go for a drive. The TRX joins a growing band of RAM products officially imported into Australia by the manufacturer and converted to right-hand drive by Walkinshaw Automotive Group. So while it has been imported to the country by smaller converters, this marks its official introduction. Priced at $200,000 before on-road costs, the TRX marks a $75,000 premium on the most affordable DT generation Ram 1500 available. But it takes a bold step forward in performance, interior presentation and equipment terms. Subjectively, it's also one of the toughest looking trucks on the planet. Black styling touches aside, the guards are flared by 203mm to accommodate its wider track and there are seven additional airflow aids to provide optimised cooling and aero. In many respects, this feels like the final hurrah for internal combustion at RAM. The TRX takes the carmaker's famous 6.2 litre supercharged V8 Hellcat engine and shoehorns it into a truck that also has Bilstein Blackhawk dampers, 35 inch wheels and so much more. Everything about the TRX, and yes, that is short for Tyrannosaurus Rex, is angry and over-engineered, but it kind of needs to be to shift this car at 2.8 tonnes with any great enthusiasm. The TRX's towering outputs are sent to all four wheels via an eight-speed automatic transmission with high range and low range outputs. Making sure the engine gets all the clean, cool oxygen it needs, the Ram TRX uses two paths to draw in outside air, feeding into a large 29 litre air box that filters out dirt, sand, debris and water before they get near the engine. This is a high performance balance of sorts with launch control and eight different driving modes offset against truck-like origins comprising an independent front axle and a coil sprung live rear axle. So if we really strip the Ram 1500 TRX back to its core essence, what we really have here is a bit of a giant novelty. You think about it, Ram 1500, primarily they're a workhorse, they're built to tow, they're built to carry things, but this is compromised. It can't tow as much. The payload has been brought down significantly as well, and it's a lot more expensive. But it begins to make sense when you exploit the novelty factor. So let's have a look here. This is probably the biggest one. Launch control, it's available in a lot of different cars. By the brake. Oh. Listen to that supercharger. That is not shy on grunt. 0 to 100 in four and a half seconds. I've just done it, 3.9 seconds. A little bit of a downhill run for that one, but consistently I've managed to see sort of 4.3, 4.4 seconds. So that in itself is a very, very big accomplishment. In terms of the rest of the drivetrain, look, it works really well. It's obviously big, it's blurry, it's loud. It's everything that a buyer is going to want from the Ram TRX. Super enjoyable, makes a statement, and it works quite well. Being supercharged, it means that you're getting a lot of your power and torque down low on the rev range. The gearbox works really well, smooth, well-timed shifts. They're not the fastest, but in terms of the, the heavy duty factor, what's needed for this drivetrain to really work and to last, everything has been over-engineered and seems to work really well. The downsides, fuel use. Driven everything, all kinds of different drivetrains, and this, unfortunately, is probably the thirstiest car I've ever come across. A lot of 60, 80 kilometer an hour regional roads, not a lot of built up traffic, and I'm averaging 19 liters per 100 k. especially when you consider that this car requires 98 Ron premium unleaded. I've put about $300 worth of petrol into it in the past week alone. 
the surprising one has actually been its ride. I thought with all the engineering that had gone into this car, the Bilstein Blackhawk dampers, the coil spring at the rear, I thought it would work really well, but extended sections of really rough roads have actually shown it up a little bit. It'll skip sideways over bumps. It takes a little bit to recover from big undulations and just generally it lacks the refinement and the level of control I really expected from a flagship vehicle. Ultimately, we found a couple of dirt bikes in the tray was enough to iron out those on-road foibles, at which point the TRX truly enamours with its control and composure, especially over drawn out undulations. And the formula only gets better when you head away from the bitumen. Okay, so for me, this is where the Ram 1500 TRX really comes into its own off-road. And I don't mean gnarly climbs or descents or anything else. I mean open fire trails. You're able to really explore its performance and you're really able to exploit the fun factor as well. Coming into a corner because you can do things like this. <laughs> so much fun. So easy to meter the power, for so much power on offer, it feels so tied down, so well controlled and everything else. And even though it is inherently big, six meters long, <laughs> nearly three tons in weight. This is as easy to drift as a Ford Mustang or a Toyota 86. It just works so well. In fact, over the really rough stuff, it almost feels better on dirt than it does on rough bitumen. It's just really impressive the way that it controls itself. <laughs> it's quite easy to forget that you're in a circa $250,000 truck because it just is a bundle of fun. <laughs> and so much performance. The V8 is never shy on grunt pulls all the way to red line, and it just puts a smile on your face. There's nothing more to it. As far as fun factor goes, this is an absolute riot. We didn't tow on this occasion, but load carrying is well facilitated thanks to ample anchor points and movable rails to tie down loads from. The wider track means you're also able to fit a full-size dirt bike in the back with the tailgate up. So a big thumbs up there. The fact the TRX loses some payload and towing capacity is a bit of a moot point given its intended purpose. The TRX makes no such compromise where interior packaging is concerned, with quality materials, displays and storage, and more than anything, acres of space. It gets the full treatment where infotainment is concerned, with the exception of a head-up display and all the important safety aspects are covered as standard, together with an adaptive forward lighting system. It's also worth noting the quality of the Australian right-hand drive conversion. Panel alignment, the quality of materials, and outright craftsmanship is arguably as good, if not better, than the factory finish. Less convincing is the after sales story, with a three-year warranty and costly servicing provisions. But let's be honest, not the prospective buyers are really going to care. Big, angry, and more than anything else, fun. The Ram 1500 TRX is one of those vehicles that I feel is going to cement itself as an overnight classic. Hugely impressive on-road and away from it, a huge feat in engineering, and more than anything else, a vehicle that puts a massive smile on your face. It really shouldn't exist. Expensive, heavy on fuel, awful environmental footprint, but gee, I'm glad it does.